Hey, good morning, and welcome to day five of our 21 days of prayer. I want to encourage you to take some time this morning and to prepare your heart for what you're about to hear. Amanda Schoolcraft is going to be bringing us today's thought, and she's going to be sharing with us kind of how God has been reminding her of what's truly important over the past couple of months as we've been in the weirdness of this coronavirus time. And so I just want to ask that you would prepare your heart as you are getting ready to hear her and uh, let God speak to you in what she has to say. Hi, church family. I'm so excited to be participating in another 21 days of prayer with you all. I have always been so encouraged um, every time we've done one of these focused periods of prayer, and I'm really looking forward to experiencing that same encouragement again, even if it does look a little different this time. Um, if any of you don't know me, uh, my name is Amanda, and I have been hanging around LCC all of my adulthood since I graduated college in 2012, eight years ago. Um, and I got to say, in my eight years of adulthood and eight years at LCC, this year has been one of the hardest. Um, I don't think I need to give a whole lot of context for why that is. I think everyone's lives are a little bit sideways right now. Um, we've experienced just a lot of upheaval and a lot of topsy-turviness over the last few months. Um, you know, the most obvious example is that I'm giving this video from um, my basement instead of from the church stage. And um, I'm actually spending a lot of time in this exact spot because this is my work from home office because it turns out my job um, can be done from here. And that is something I would never have expected. Um, so I, I, in, in this last few months when everything has been a little bit sideways, um, my personal relationship with God has had to grow stronger. Um, it, of course, the one-on-one -on -one relationship in the prayer time has existed for a long time, ever since I accepted Christ as my personal savior. But I think when we have the opportunity to gather together and to really worship as a collective um, and, you know, and feel that energy from one another and really, really feed one another in that really tangible way, um, sometimes the one-on-one -on -one stuff can slip by the wayside, at least for me, because it, it doesn't feel so much like the lifeblood that it truly is. Um, so we're able to kind of patch together something that's close or, or maybe seems good enough um, from the collective experience that we, that we don't focus so much on the one-on-one -on -one with God. Um, but again, in this time of a lot of time without other humans around and um, just a lot of changes constantly, which are difficult for me as a person who deals with a great deal of anxiety, um, I've had to really lean on God as my rock. Um, I think for the the first part of quarantine, the first few months maybe, I was able to just kind of embrace the insanity of all of it. Um, a, a phrase that has become quite frequent on my lips has been, everything's made up and the points don't matter. Uh, it's a, you know, a call back to a show from my childhood of Whose Line Is It Anyway, where everything was made up and the points don't matter. Um, I think as as we navigate this crazy upheaval time i think we're realizing just how many things we as humans have just constructed for ourselves you know um like the fact that i have been going into a cubicle for the last eight years and it turns out i didn't need to be doing that the whole time you know my job works like this um and the fact that you know we have I don't know, like social engagements and that we have, you know, we, that we think church has to look a certain way or that work has to look a certain way or these jobs are important and maybe these jobs we don't even think about. All of that has changed. You know, so many jobs that we maybe wouldn't have given a second thought are now rightly being deemed essential. Um, and it just shows how much our priorities and our focuses are made by us. You know, everything is made up <laughs> and the earthly points don't matter. Um, I think the, the free-spirited side of me was able to roll with that for quite a while at the beginning of quarantine of just like, yep, we're just going to take each day as it comes. Um, we're going to see what happens next. And it's just kind of this adventure that we're rolling through. And I think I was very fortunate um, that the effects of COVID and of the other up, un, un, up upheaval and unrest, I'm <laughs> trying to say together there, um, in our lives. Um, they, of course, they affected me, and of course, there were negative effects, but I was fortunate that the negative effects were not so severe um, as to keep, as to prevent me from feeling sunny about it, you know, so to prevent me from making jokes about it. Um, 
but as things have dragged on, as this has gone on longer, as uh, you know, more uncertainty has been injected into the situation, um, that mantra of <laughs> things made up and the points don't matter isn't, isn't really good enough for me anymore. Um, still true, uh, but I, I realize I need something I need something concrete. You know, I can't have everything in my life be up in the air, which it kind of is right now. Um, and over the last just few weeks and really even few days, um, I've been kind of grappling with the, the realization that the one and only thing in my entire existence that is not made up and where the points absolutely do matter uh, is my relationship with God. Like that is, that is the only tangible thing that is never going to change and never going to go anywhere. And I actually do have control over the health and the status of that relationship. Um, so as I've come to, to realize that, um, it has uh, invigorated a renewed sense of purpose in my, in my quiet time um, and in my uh, just my focused prayer. I think in the in the chaos and the turmoil over the last few months, my pray without ceasing type prayer has increased greatly. <laughs> um, there's been kind of because everything is all mixed and it's kind of all soup right now. You know, am I at work or am I at home or am I dealing with this or am I dealing with that? It's just kind of all happening at once. Um, and so prayer is injected in that too. You know, my anxieties are cropping up in all sorts of different ways throughout the day. So there are like tiny little prayers to God all the time, um, and I'm grateful for that. Like I'm really grateful. For for that fuel for me, but I had let go of some of the more structured time because all the rest of the structure for my life left and everything's made up. So I, I didn't, I didn't do a very good job at first of maintaining that, you know, daily quiet time in a structured way. Um, because what does it matter when you go to bed when it doesn't matter when you get up? And what is, you know, so there, there was just so much, so much fluidity to my life that I let, I let my relationship with God become fluid too. Um, and I think in doing that, I was really taking for granted um, the fact that he would stick with me. And of course he did, and of course he will. And I can take that for granted because that's the kind of God that we serve. Um, but I I really don't want to do that. I, 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 and I don't think it's sustainable too. Um, I, 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 want, I want us all to remember that that God's presence in our life is a gift and it is given freely, but man, we can benefit from it so much more if we choose to actively participate. Um, so I just want to leave you with that encouragement. Um, just uh, the verse that um, has cropped up in my mind has been Romans 5.15, and that is that many people have received God's gift of life by the grace of one man, Jesus Christ. That there is nothing that we can do to earn it, um, but that there is absolutely work we can do to really live in it. Um, so in this time where everything is sideways, everything's made up, the points don't matter, I just want to remind you the way that I have been reminded that God is not made up. His relationship with you is very real, very tangible, very solid, and never changing. Um, and the best thing that any of us can do in a time of uncertainty is just to really lean into that um, and to make sure that that stays a focal point, no matter what else that we thought was important might go away, no matter what humans might let us down or what uh, policies might harm us or um, any interpersonal dealings that might become struggles. Um, all of those things come and go. All of those things um, just pale in comparison to the importance of a relationship with God our Father. Um, so if you haven't been doing it already, like if, you, if you're in the same boat as me where things kind of got a little sideways for you in your prayer life, um, I would encourage you to pick it up. I would encourage you to, um, to yes, pray randomly popcorn prayers, pray without ceasing, but also to, to, to add some structure um, into some dedicated quiet time to spend with God um, as frequently as you can. Um, just to give yourself at least some, the only true piece of solidity that we can ever have. And I hope that none of us forget that if things do return to a more normal, more rigid life where there's more schedules again. I hope we don't forget that, you know, in the time when everything was soup, everything was chaos, um, God was not. He was still there. Um, so I hope it's a blessing to you as it has been to me. 
Um, and I, I look forward to praying with you throughout the rest of these 21 days. God bless. I hope that was a great encouragement to you. Yesterday, David Schaff talk to us about how um, a relationship with God can kind of be integrated into the whole rest of your life. And Amanda today reminded us that there's still importance to be placed on those solid, uh, structured times with God. So let me encourage you to be a person who finds the balance. Let God be present with you all day, every day, little moments of prayer all the time. But let's also be people who take specific time during each day to quiet our hearts, to focus ourselves on what God has for us, to spend some time in his word, to journal some thoughts in a notebook, and to spend some time in prayer. And allow God to remind you that he is totally not made up, and your relationship with him is the thing that matters most of all. He loves you. Let's pray. Lord, we ask that you would remind us of your love for us. We ask that you would remind us of how serious it is that you are available to us and that we don't have to go through life feeling lost or confused, but you are present. So, Lord, would you encourage us to take the time to be with you? And would you continue to be with us during these 21 days? We thank you. We love you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you and have a great day.